Today sees Tommy as Mena um, doing his first little bit of power since moving back into the seat of Mayor of Cebu. I know the focus has been predominantly on Duterte since the Philippines presidential election has been ongoing. Um, but there's an interesting thing with Tommy as Mena. Talking to people, they will tell you generally that the drug, things like Shabu and uh, other problems, have been on the rise when uh, Osmena actually left. Um, one of these contributing factors is the fact that, A, he wasn't the mayor, but today is an example of why there's going to be some quite rapid positive changes. Today, there is what they call um, release the Kraken uh, has actually happened. Tommy Osmena has paid for Adonis Dumpit, which is a PO3. He's quite a senior police officer that was jailed for homicide. Um, he's paid his bail. And from what people have said, not myself, these are alleged, um, they nickname him A, the Kraken, but also Tommy Osmena's hitman. He is known for getting rid of bad criminals in this area, in the Cebu area. Um, and now he's released from jail. There's going to be some <laughs> expected changes um, as there will obviously be a push in reducing the drugs within Cebu. Um, is this normal <laughs> in the Philippines? It is. But at the end of the day, I, some of these things are... Difficult to understand in a, the Western mindset, but with difficult environments, with corruption and what have you, it can be a, not accepted, but something people will turn a blind eye to, uh, that these types of people are used, needed, wanted um, to reduce the crimes in the area. So I'll put a few links um, because I'm actually Tom Mills Mena's friend on Facebook. <laughs> well, I'm I'm not even, am I on his main page or his friend's page? I can't remember um, because we, the problem I have is I know people um, in political circles um, because of, um, for example, if Tom Mills Mena was listening to this, I'll just say I know Jess, and then that would be it. He would know who I'm talking about. Um, the same as there's other people I know with their keynotes and different various people around but I just thought I'd bring this up because it's quite an interesting thing um, because obviously T Tommy Osmena has moved back into his old seat I think he was a senator on the last elections um, but Mike Rama was the last mayor and there's on the other videos, you've seen him actually getting booed. That's all I'm saying on that. I'm not getting involved. Why people are booing, at, booing him, etc. But between uh, Tommy Osmena, Mike Rama, and Gwen Garcia, there's a lot of dislikes to each other. That's just. I'll just leave it at that. I'm not getting dragged into the politics, but I just wanted to share. Release the Kraken, because his bail's been paid today, which I believe is also his birthday. Thanks for watching.